you mentioned Chile as a good example of economic growth. So yeah. Um, but they obviously, during the period of economic growth, had quite a repressive dictator called Pinochet in power. Sure, part of it, yeah. Um, so to what extent do you think that economic freedoms, which you described in Chile, can work without political freedoms? So it, it is a sad, it, it's sad that it happened to be Pinochet who embraced this. Although, of course, Pinochet is one of the few dictators in history to actually hold an election about continuing or not continuing and turning everything over to the democratic thing. He should have been trying for the crimes that he committed. He killed thousands of people, and he's an evil, he's an evil man. But he ha and, he, and it wasn't like he believed in capitalism either. He, he, was, he was floundering after he took over, and the Chilean economy was plummeting, and it was doing no good. And there was a group of uh, economists in uh, Chile who were trained by, in Chicago by Milton Friedman. They were called the Chicago Boys. And he basically said, you guys try. I don't know what's going to work. Something has to work. And they took over the economy, and they basically privatized everything, and so on, and, and it led to success. The success continued after Pinochet was gone. So well after Pinochet, really, until about five, six years ago, you know, Chile was on this con constant path of continuous privatization and improvement and economic growth. So it didn't require Pinochet, because once he was gone, it continued. 